Welcome to ITU studio. We are in the World Telecommunications Development Conference here in Kigali. We have the honor to be with Honorable Minister Nope Moses Naum from Tanzania. Welcome in the studio. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. How is the government of Tanzania creating an evolving environment for digital transformation to cope with the fourth industrial revolution? Yeah, thank you very much for the opportunity to come and join you in this uh, uh, important session. Uh, Tanzania is one of the uh, countries in the world. Uh, we are moving uh, towards doing digital uh, transformation in the country. Uh, we start by uh, putting the uh, legal framework together, uh, having uh, policies, uh, laws and regulations uh, that will uh, enable uh, fast uh, digital transformation in the country. We are reviewing the laws, we set some policies together uh, to, to help this tra transformation. But also we are doing some investments on the infrastructure because it's, uh, it's also important uh, to, to, to put the infrastructures together. You, you can have the, the, the legal framework but also uh, the infrastructures. We uh, built uh, the uh, ICT broadband backbone and uh, uh, you might be knowing we, have, we are connected to, to seven other countries. We are putting the infrastructure in the country, but we are also connecting other, other, other countries. But uh, thirdly, uh, we have put some uh, institutions, institutions together so that uh, uh, we have the legal framework, the infrastructure, but also the institutions. We have formed, for example, the uh, uh, Universal Communication Services Access Funds to accelerate uh, you know, reaching to the rural because we need to connect the rural together. So all these together, they, they create a conducive environment for digital transformation in the country. Given the theme of this WTDC, connecting the unconnected to achieve sustainable development, what are the specific initiatives in Tanzania which are being taken to ensure that everyone is connected? Yeah, one, as, uh, as I said, uh, is uh, making sure there is a, a proper legal framework to, to allow accessibility to, you know, everybody. Two, to uh, uh, improve the, the infrastructure, uh, the communication towers, especially to the rural. Uh, uh, connect the schools, for example. You know, uh, at schools we we uh, put emphasis on uh, helping, especially the girls and uh, uh, you know the disadvantaged groups. Uh, connect them to access uh, the internet, but also uh, most of our uh, the developing countries, uh, our people have got problem in having devices. Uh, devices that will make them connected. So in our country we are now reviewing how do we subsidize helping uh, the especially people from the, the rural to, to, to have uh, the, the devices, the smartphones, the tablets, uh, the iPads, uh, that will help them use internet. We have a good number of our people uh, uh, have access to the infrastructure, uh, legal framework set, but they don't have devices. So we are, we are talking with the uh, uh, telecom operators to see how they will help their customers to have these devices so that they can access internet and uh, this will help them to be connected. Honorable Minister, would you please tell us how your ministry do just to ensure that girls, women, young people are not left behind, especially also the marginalized people? First of all, uh, to us connecting our people, uh, access to internet is uh, a, a, a one of the human rights. And if it's one of the human rights, we need to make sure that no one is left behind. So how do we do it? Uh, as I said, we invest. If we do the investments, uh, it will help to have the uh, infrastructure ready for them. Then 
uh, we put centers that will uh, help the advantage, disadvantaged uh, group to access uh, the services. And uh, especially the girls, as I said, uh, people with uh, uh, disabilities, uh, the women. Yeah, for example, in our country, uh, thing like uh, financial inclusion using mobile mobile money services is really peaking, and uh, most of them they are women, and uh, and girls, they access uh, these services, and uh, you know uh, with the accessing these services, then you include them, you make sure that they are they are not left behind, so we we bridge the 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 gap by, uh, by uh, uh, making sure the services is available to the environment. And we put now the legal uh, framework to allow them to participate in the, in the connectivity. Thank you very much, Thank Honorable you. Minister. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Yes.